hello guys to the home and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys something very amazing but before then let me wish you guys first happy new year happy new year i pray that god uplift you and um may god grant all your wishes this year in jesus name amen all right i got um a question one of the tutorials okay someone asked that how was i able to you know model this kind of okay this kind of um wall design okay this group this group you're seeing let me try and change this mouse okay so this group you're seeing someone asked a question how i was able to do this all right so i'll be showing you guys how to do this all right and how to expand the sizes if you don't want this particular size so let's dive into the video without wasting much of your time so first thing to do is click on that particular wall you want to work on okay on that particular wall you want to work on let's say this is the wall you want to work on all right so click on the wall so once you click on the wall the next thing to do is click on this um setting dialogs once you click on setting dialogs move your cursor all the way down to this lock details lock details all right click on lock details once you click on lock details the next thing to check is this use lock wall okay use lock wall click on this one okay click on this use lock wall once you click and see that all these ones are activated if it's not checked you see them deactivated you can't select any of them but once you click on this check all right you can see that all these ones are available to select so making use of this first one which is the square lock right this one is flat while this one is showing round on outside okay outside the wall will be round it will be showing the same thing the same lock for the round one while this one is the inner face of the wall why the, the last one which is this one is rounded on both sides so both the inside and the outside will have the same thing okay so now this space you're seeing you can see it's showing the dimension it's showing a uh, dimension sign which is the log height this is where you type in what you want what you're seeing currently here like this thing you're seeing here this measurement you're seeing is two two hundred interval all right if you want it 300 or 500 or 600 depends on what you want this is where you type it all right so let's go with this 200 so click ok and then click ok again you can see that this one is round right it's round the reason why it's round is because we didn't select the square one we selected the round one we left it on the right on the round one so let me quickly go back and then do something on that so make sure you select the wall first and then secondly click on setting dialogs under setting dialogs come down to lock details okay so once you click on lock details the next thing to do is um the next thing to do is to click on this check okay click on this check and then this is the one that is this is the one that i'm um, activated because we left it on this point okay if this is the flat one you want which is the square one click on it okay click on this one all right make sure this stick is on this one and then changing the dimension that's all so you click ok and ok all right so now you can see that we have this flat one okay if you want it on both end that is here and here all right what you need to do is to select the two walls so you click on this wall hold down shift key and click on the second wall which is this one then now go inside now we need to select this is not selected okay it's selected now so go inside same um same steps okay same step click on this log detail activate this one and then click on this one because we don't want it round select okay and then okay you can see that they are all together all the lines are also connected all right so thank you for your time and um, if you find the video helpful don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question okay drop it on the comment section i'll attend to you there see you on our next tutorial